Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we finished coding our AuthGuard service class, which is used to validate the user's authorization to view a specific component in our application whose access is potentially limited to anyone who has no JWT token that consists the specific user role. Now, we have added an access denied page or a view when the user's role is not allowed to view a specific component they will be redirected to an access denied page we haven't yet coded that so let's go ahead and first code this access denied component and then we can proceed with using this auth card service in our product list component so that if there is and access denied uh, being returned by the server then we can redirect to redirect the user to this page so that we don't get any errors so in this video tutorial we will create this access denied component so first thing right click on your client app open your terminal by going to tools and now as we all know the command to create a component so let's do that ng generate component we will create a folder called as error which will have all the views related to errors so e-r-r-o-r -R -R and we can name it actually errors and then we will create a access denied component Make sure you name it the same as you have named it here. If you name it different, make sure you replace this router navigation path to the name that you have used for your access denied or 403 error. So now let's hit enter. Now we have the component being created. So let's minimize our terminal. Let's check inside the source application and we have an errors folder that can say it contains an access denied uh, component inside it so let's open the component.ts and component.html and component.css file because we need to do some coding there for our access denied view we don't need to keep this auth guard service open now we are done with it so let's code this first first thing that we need to do is go to our app module.ts and make sure that the import of access denied component has been added so that we don't get any errors in our console of in the browser so it's added to a declaration as well and now if we route the user to access denied uh, the user uh, will be taken to the access denied path correct no wrong so we have just imported the access denied component here but we have not yet added it to the path and to manage the routing we have to go to app routing.module.ts and here we need to add the access denied path so just before the all other paths i will add the access denied path so let's do that so here we can create a path and the value for the path is access denied the component is access denied component so let's say access night component and the import statement has been added now let's save this and let's see if we can access this from our browser access denied so access denied works we can access it but it looks very ugly let's style it a bit to make it look better so first thing we want to do go to our access denied component.ts and we don't need the app module anymore so we can close this app routing module as well in the access denied component.ts now we have to create some properties like we always create so that we can use them in our html for one will be the h2 message inside the h2 tag that i'm going to display which will be type string and the second property i'll require is the h1 message and it will be string as well 
you can name this whatever you like but for now just stick to my code and then you can edit it so if you have if you don't like the design or the code you can obviously change it but just follow along with me now so uh, we will initialize these uh, properties that we created over here so h2 message I'm sorry h1 message is going to be a big bold 403 which means unauthorized or access denied and then we have the h2 message which is going to be access denied that's it now let's go to our HTML of this component and first get rid of this and then add our HTML code. So here I'm adding some HTML code and here inside the h1 tag I have my h1 message and inside the h2 tag I have my h2 message and then I have created a link over here where the user can go back to the home page. Okay, save this as well. Now let's go to the access denied CSS but before that just look at the access denied page it looks different now but this is without the styling now let's add some styling to it so here I am going to add some styling and once again all this code will be available for you to download from the uh, DevOps repo so do not worry so the code is now added I have saved this uh, CSS file let's go back to my page here and now we can see a beautiful page with the access denied design 403 access denied and we have a link which says back to home if we click on it we go back to the home page and we want to access access denied you can access it that is it our access denied page so that's it for this video tutorial I just want to limit it to one specific component that we are designing which was access denied and if you want to add any more errors in your application go ahead and create them under the errors folders and design them yourself or change the design that I have provided and the next video tutorial we will start working on the HTTP interceptor class so that we can attach the tokens using the AuthGuard service into the HTTP request and we'll learn that so for now, please like and subscribe my channel. And if you have any questions, use the comment section. The code for the project is available in the DevOps repos. Thank you.